Okay, this video is going to walk us through the new EKG machines that the critical care service line is using. So just a first glance while looking at it, um, quick note, battery life on the machine is about four hours, so try to leave it plugged in as often as possible. This little drawer in the front here stores extra paper if you need it. Around the back, we have the purple sandy wipes, a set of gloves. Up top, you'll see the lead box. This does need to sit upside down in its holder. This is to help prevent wear and tear of the leads. So make sure this is upside down. And then the leads themselves are too long and they drag on the floor. So just throw them over the handle. That way they don't drag on the floor and potentially get ruined. Up top, there's also a barcode scanner that you can use to scan your patient's wristband once you get to that part of getting your EKG. And then the last part we have is a drawer underneath. It just pulls out. There's extra clips on the left side. And then if you push it all the way through, there's electrodes in it. And so as you can see, this one's being used for training, but anytime you open up a package, it needs to be folded over at the top and then dated. These packages are only good once opened for a month. After that point, um, they need to be thrown, thrown away and replaced. So whenever oxygen is exposed to the electrodes, they start to dry out and they become less effective. Um, this is also a joint commission requirement. So those are there. Now, if you are using your electrodes and you find that they're not sticking appropriately, on the back of your leads, you'll see this hole. All you have to do is push down on your lead. Let me grab a telly pad. All you have to do is push down on the clamp, push the lead onto it, and then you can use your five lead electrodes if the 12 lead ones aren't working. Okay, so I would recommend leaving your EKG machine in sleep mode. It takes about two minutes to completely power on, so if you're in the middle of an emergency, it's not conducive to have to wait two minutes in order to get your EKG. So as long as it's in sleep mode, you'll see that the power light is still on. And then how you wake it up is you grab it by the middle, lift up the screen, and it turns itself on automatically. If the EKG machine were to be off initially, press and hold the power button for two seconds and it'll turn itself on. So now here we have the main screen. So to get started, you'll come over and hit start. And as soon as you hit start, it's going to drop down all the required patient information. For this section, you do have to fill out every single field. So to start, you would grab your barcode scanner, scan your patient's wristband. That should populate your patient ID or your FIN number, last name, first name, and date of birth. If those don't autofill, you'll have to manually type them in with the keypad. And then the last two, you also have to put in. So your technician name is going to be either your AU or your username for the computer. And then room number is going to be, for example, ICU 11, SI 23, CCU 10, PCU 8. Whatever location and physical room you're in needs to be the room number. If you don't fill out all this information, it does not transmit to cardiac testing and your EKG order isn't complete and transmitted. So once you put all the information in, you can hit save, brings you back to the main screen. As you start to put your electrodes and leads on, you should see waveforms start to show up. There's some other functions of this new machine that can help you determine whether you have a good picture. So as you can see, we have these three dots down here. So right now it's a red blinking dot. If your electrodes are in the right place, it would go from a red X to a yellow dash to a green check mark. Green check mark means you have the best picture that you're going to have, and the machine is advising you to take the EKG then. If you do leave the electrodes and leads on for more than 10 seconds and it's a good picture, say you're busy doing something else, the EKG machine will automatically take a picture for you. That way it's, an, it's telling you that it's been a good picture, do you want to use this? You can also click on Hookup Advisor and it'll bring up a picture. So if you're not remembering where all your electrodes are supposed to go and what is V1 versus V6 or right leg versus left leg, there is a picture of a person with everything labeled. 
Um, and another cool feature is that if your electrodes are in the wrong spot, these individual dots will blink red. Or if they're in the correct spot, they'll blink green. Similar with the lead box, if your leads are in the wrong spot, they'll blink red, or if they're in the right spot, they'll blink green. So once you have, again, your green check mark down here, you can either hit start EKG, or you can hit EKG down on your soft pad. So you hit EKG, and it's gonna pull up a preview of your EKG. The older model of our machine, normally when you would hit start, it would print off your EKG, and that would fulfill your Cerner order. But with this feature, you can hit start EKG as many times as you want. Um, and if you don't print it, it doesn't fulfill that Cerner order. So say I'm trying to catch a heart block and I see my preview and I don't see it in there. Then I can come in, hit reject, and it comes back to the screen. My Cerner order still isn't complete because that physical EKG hasn't printed off the side. So then say I hit start EKG again, the preview comes up, I look at it and I go, yep, that's the one that I want. You would hit accept. And by hitting accept, you see that it starts printing off your report off the left side of the machine. The EKG has a perforated edge, so all you have to do is pull it off. And then you have your physical EKG. Now remember, we have our physical one, but then we also need to make sure that our EKG got transmitted to cardiac testing. So once again, we'll come back to our screen. And over on the right side, you see where it says orders, files, and queue. Under the files section, if you see your EKG sitting there, so the one we just did, that means it hasn't been transmitted to cardiac testing. And remember the biggest thing that leads to an EKG not being transmitted is that you don't have patient information in. So say I wanna do, I wanna see why this EKG didn't go through. Click on it, brings up that specific EKG. And I go, I know, it's my patient information that's an issue. Lo and behold, I didn't fill anything out. So you can go in, insert all the patient information, hit transmit, and as long as it drops off the file list, that means it transmitted to cardiac testing and you should be done with that EKG. Once you're completely done with your EKG, the whole machine can be wiped down with purple sanitation wipe. And then again, instead of completely powering it down, all you have to do is grab the top by the middle, pull it down, the light turns off, and now it's asleep. One quick side note um, about putting paper in. There is a little release handle down here. All you have to do is pull, pulls the paper out. And as you can see, the paper does have to be inserted with this left dot or hole at the top left corner and then you just kind of have to fold the paper over so that way it's face up but all you do is insert it fold it over push it back in and it's okay if it's sticking out a little bit the machine will pull it back in in order to print off the, the EKG on one full piece of paper and those are the main functions of the new EKG machines